The exact team wants to make sure your March 1st mailing is a success this upcoming March 1st. We have introduced a new feature that allows you to let us know whether you will want support to help you send out your slot request emails or if you will be scheduling on your own. To get to that form, we're going to go over on our left hand menu to slot request. And the first thing you're going to do on this page is you're going to click on create new slot request. From this page, you're going to see two options, whether you're going to create a brand new slot request or you're going to copy an existing slot request from previous slot requests you've made in the past. Once you've made your decision, you'll click on next and you'll get to the basic configuration of your slot request. You'll give your slot request a title. This is just for internal purposes. No one will see this, but it's helpful for you to know which slot request you're looking at as you create more slot requests. And you're gonna go ahead and scroll on down to the bottom portion of this section where you'll find the slot request preference. In this section, you're going to answer a few questions that will help our team make sure that you are set up for success. The first question states, how would you like to have your slot request email sent? You have two options and for our first time users and for those of you who like extra support just to make sure that everything is good to go, um, you can select the option for support to send your slot request emails. That means that a real support agent is going to ensure that your emails go out on the specific date and time that you select. If this is not the first time using the slot request process with Exact, uh, and you feel comfortable with the system and you'd like to schedule these, on your own, then you can go ahead and select the second option. If you go with the first option, you are going to have a text box where you will go ahead and select a time for those emails to go out. So here we're looking at this on November. Um, you can go ahead and click on that month there and then switch on over to the following calendar year, select the month, select the date, and then the specific time. So let's say that I want these to go out at 8 a.m. We'll select down to the minute and the date will be entered for you. If you decide that you'd like to schedule these on your own, you'll go ahead and select the second option. That means that you will be responsible for making sure that your emails are scheduled to be sent out automatically by the system on a specific date and time. You'll go ahead and select the second option and it won't ask you for a date picker since you'll be able to do that within the system at a later point in time. The next question related to the slot request is when should the slot request link expire? When you send out your slot request email, it will contain a link that will allow sites to offer you slots. That link will be available for a certain amount of time, whatever you decide that should be. So here you get to decide at what date the sites should be able to offer slots for. So if you decide that you send out your slot request email on March 1st and you want them to not be able to offer you slots by April 30th, you're able to make that change here. Next up, we have a question regarding update site information. Will you be sending out update site information emails? This traditionally is an email that you send out before March 1st maybe a month in advance or a few months before that, where you send out an email to the sites and say, this is what we have on file for your site. Has anything changed? And the sites will have a link where they can go in and update their phone number, their staff information, requirements, all of those items. So if you do plan on sending that out, you'll say yes or no. If you say yes, you will get an additional question asking if you would like support to send your emails or if you will be scheduling on your own. If you do not plan to send those out this time around, you'll simply select no and that question will disappear. The last question we have is who can we contact if we have any questions or concerns regarding your slot request or update site information setup? So we are asking for a name, a phone number, and an email just in case um, if uh, we have any questions regarding your setup, if anything doesn't look right, and we just want to double check with you, who we can contact would be great to know. Once you're all done answering all of these questions, you'll click save and next, and that will let us know all of the information that we need from your program in order to make sure that we can support you this upcoming March 1st. Thanks for tuning in.